Hey there everybody, welcome to the Tool for Forza YouTube channel, Captain Nasty is right here. And today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get all signed up for online ranked matchmaking with Assetto Corsa through the Sim Racing System app. It's absolutely amazing. There's a race every hour with you know the car cycle, the track cycle. It is super, super fun. The racing is very clean. I'm just an absolutely huge fan of SRS and I don't think a lot of us would still be playing Assetto Corsa if it wasn't for SRS. So thank you Enrique uh, for setting up this system that's enabled through Content Manager. So if you don't have Content Manager, for a set of courses right now, you need to figure your life out uh, because it, it's absolutely critical if you want to have soul enabled, if you want to have shaders, that's all the dynamic time and you know weather and all the awesome stuff that's come out in the last year or so for AC. Uh, go get Content Manager right now. Stop this video, click the link below, download, install Content Manager, make a donation, and uh, unlock the uh, the full version. It can be as little as a dollar or as much as you want to donate. I encourage you to donate more because Content Manager is like phenomenal. Uh, and then you'll be ready to go. So assuming you've got Content Manager already installed, you're going to want to go up here to drive and you're going to want to go over here live and you're going to want to make sure that SRS text is what's highlighted right here and it'll bring up this little screen to you know to enter SRS. You'll also see RSR over here uh, which is an online hot lap leaderboard. Uh, if you want me to do a video on that I'll be more than happy to uh, but this is all about SRS right here. So go ahead and just press to enter and this is what you're going to see right. So you're going to want to go up here to the right and click register. Read the terms if you agree, click agree. Fill out the web form. Uh, use a, a real, um, you know, first and last name here. Uh, of course, a good email address. And uh, go ahead and just submit registration down here at the bottom. Now, what has been happening to a lot of our members is they don't actually receive the link that activates their account. So if it's been a couple days and you have not yet received the link that, that allows you to go ahead and activate your account so you can sign up for races, I want you to go ahead and just send an email to Enrique here, uh, simracingsystem at gmail.com. Please don't go wait like five minutes and then send him an email. Give it a couple days. Again, this is a third-party application that's free, so don't expect like, you know, iRacing levels or like perfection here, right? It's really good. There's a couple little silly things with it, but again, it, the system is absolutely amazing, and once you get past these first couple of hurdles, this being one of them, you're going to actually be loving SRS for sure. So if you don't get your confirmation link in a couple days, uh, email Enrique's email is right here, simracingsystem at gmail.com. Com. So let's assume, right, that um, you've got all that. So I'm just going to close, actually close out a content manager and again, start like how you're going to be looking at this once you've got your, your link and you're activated. I'm going to go to home, pr press to enter, right? You're going to click login and now you're going to enter your username, which should be like a first and last name. Put in your password there, right? successfully logged in. So what you'll see here is kind of like the hub and the home page of, of SRS. Uh, and I forgot to say what I'm going to cover in this video, so let me just, just cut into that real quick here. So I'm going to cover, obviously, how to get signed up. We're going to cover how to register for races, how to download content that might be missing so you can participate in a race if you don't have the car or the track. We're going to cover how to uh, get the custom skin app so you can see everybody's custom skins. We're also going to cover how to file a protest because that's an important thing here as well. Uh, you know, we kind of check each other in the sim racing community. If someone blatantly takes you out on purpose, they should be reported so they don't take out the next guy, and we keep the racing clean and keep it fun for everybody. So... Let's, uh, we're just going to start out assuming that you've got the content and you want to sign up for something. So, uh, sure. Let's just pick, pick anyone at random. So pick whatever skin you want to pick and click select. And this is what typically happens. It takes right back to the race screen here and you can see that it still says register. So this is one of the things that's kind of common in SRS. So you actually have to typically go through this process twice. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Uh, and this is why I'm making this video because it's really, really, really good, but it's not like super perfect, you know, in terms of getting this stuff sorted out. So again, click register, you know, pick the car, uh, you know, in, in the skin that you want and hit select. And now this is what you want to be seeing. Okay, so you can see that, right, I'm signed up here for, for this race. And we're all good to go. So you can only register for one race at a time. So I recommend, you know, don't register for a race if you're not planning on you know, doing it. Or if you want to do a race before this race. So this race is in 18 hours. So if I wanted to race in like two hours, you would not want to register for this. You'd have to like quit this one. Just click quit. And then register for whatever you want. So that's kind of the first pitfall is clicking registration quit twice. Now, one other thing that's really common is when you go to actually start the race, you know, there'll be a little green join button uh, that, that shows up. So I'll just register for this one. It kind of shows you what it, what it looks like here. So where it says quit right here, that will actually change to join. So you have to sign up 
five minutes, more than five minutes before the race starts. So let's say the race starts at three o'clock. You have to be signed up by 2.55. After 2.55, no more entries are taken. So get signed up early. Uh, once you've done that, this box that's, you know, blacked out here, it will turn green uh, typically. And if it doesn't turn green, you know, three minutes before the race. So let's say the race starts at three. If by 2.57, it's not green, I want you to go ahead and go to race and just hit this right here and that kind of refreshes it and then that will change from please wait to join you click join you get in the race now another thing that happens when you go to join some of these races is it will tell you that you don't have a car or a track uh you know that maybe not even be the car or the track that you're signed it's trying to sign up for so a really common error that i get it, it will say like you know car missing nissan primera btcc uh, and i'm not even trying to do that race all you do is just x out close content manager come back into srs and click join and you'll be good to go so like it sounds like buggy and crazy but essentially you know register if you don't register the first time just register twice if you get that silly error when you go to actually join the race then just exit content manager and start it again and it works every single time i know it sounds like it's kind of a hassle but believe me you're going to get so used to it it takes just seconds to fix all those issues so uh okay sorry about the pause in the mic there i've got a cold and didn't want to cough on the, on the video so that covers actually getting into a race where you've got the content and a couple little things that can kind of catch you out so i'm gonna go ahead and just quit out of this one and we're going to show you how to get into a race if you don't have the content. So here's one. So if you don't have the content, you'll see this here where it says content missing. You'll see this little green arrow that says down downloads required. So you just click this link. You can do this two ways. So I typically like to install everything manually, but, um, you know, that's my story. Oh, you also have to know what, um, what you're missing. So let's see here. Ferrari F2004, so that's Kuno, so it's going to be the track for me. I don't think I've got this version of Suzuka. I might have a uh, <laughs> ripped, <laughs> ripped version uh, of, of Suzuka. So let's go you scroll down here to tracks. Uh, and you're going to do an alphabetical order, Suzuka. And what you do is you just check this here. Now, you need to be signed up for race department. And if you're not signed up for race department, this is like content manager level stuff. Like, you just have to be signed up for race department to get this stuff working. So uh, you'll click that. And now, typically, you'll have to sign into race department here through the, the, the Internet. Now, I am already have done that, and I checked uh, Remember Me. So every time I click a link here, it just downloads it automatically. It is super, super sweet. So then you just click Download here. And you'll see this green arrow in the upper right doing its thing. You can go ahead and just click on that. And it's already downloaded, and you just uh, click install right here. It'll go ahead and install the file for you. I typically check an X there, and uh, we're going to close this window. And uh, we're actually just going to close out a content manager. You can refresh with race, but we'll just close it down real quick, open it right back up. It doesn't take any time to do this, right? It takes it right back in here. And this should now be green. There you go. So now it's green. I can register for the race. So that's how you know you've successfully downloaded the content. So it's just that easy to get stuff. Um, again, Enrique's done a really great job, like making all this pretty easy outside of the funny little stuff with like having to close content manager a little bit and all that, all that kind of jazz. Once you kind of get used to the rhythm of how that goes, again, this is, this is not a, not, not a big deal at all. This stuff works really, really good. So let's take a look at like standings, uh, results and, and the rest of that stuff. So if you want to see how you did in a, in, in a race, uh, you can click the the overall standings right here. So this is for the championship. So you can see championship points. Unfortunately, I've, I'm busy and don't get to typically make every race of a championship. Uh, of course, I will on our Tuesday series at 9 o'clock. Uh, Enrique was nice enough to let uh, Tool for Forza uh, have our own uh, uh, weekly uh, recurring series, which is at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Come and join us for that. Uh, join us in Discord if you want to hang out and do some sim racing. And uh, that's how you can see the uh, championship standings. Just check back here. If you want to look at fastest laps, I recommend doing this for sure when you're practicing, just so you can see what the fastest guys are doing. You can kind of get an idea of what you need to do in terms of a lap time to have a good race. So uh, again, all the lap time information is available. And typically this is valuable for these reoccurring races that happen multiple times per week, not these, you know, once a week races, like for the ones that have guys that have like YouTube channels like us. Uh, again, that, that of course, if it's once a week, then you only get one, one result there. It doesn't really help you to look at the lap times. Uh, uh, here ahead of time you can also see races and just you know you can see who finished where and look at some more of the results uh, so we'll just check this here and you could see the finisher Jay weight won the last one uh, Vince from GTP got second I got third uh, 
There you go. Now, one of the cool thing they have here is a chart that kind of shows you how the positions played out for every different lap of the race, uh, which is really interesting to kind of look at that as well. So tons of really cool data here. It's all automated. All this uploads relatively soon after the race. And uh, that's how all that stuff kind of works. You can also see your own skill rating here. You can see the incident average, which is how many times you make contact with another car or go off the track here. Uh, championships, number of wins, number of top threes, and number of top tens. So lots of really cool data here. Really everything that you'd want to have, you know, for a proper online ranked matchmaking system. It's, it's super, super cool. So next, let's talk about how to do some reports. So you go over to race, and you're going to want to go over to protest form. So just read the instructions here but I'll kind of help you out a little bit here. So what you're going to want to do is take a video of the actual incident, and you cannot use the live stream that SRS does on YouTube. You have to have your own video evidence. Uh, and one thing you have to have enabled here is you have to have the driver's name checked uh, above. So if you go to Settings, Assetto Corsa, View and UI, and if you tick Show Driver's Names, you have to have this enabled uh, if you want to have like a valid protest video for, for Enrique here. So just a quick little detail there. Uh, once you've recorded your video, I recommend using, if you're not like a YouTube person, you don't have like Streamlabs, uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience is a really easy way to record. I think AMD has a very similar program with their graphics cards. You can very quickly like make like a video capture that, that's pretty short. I recommend doing a third party, or sorry, a third person view and also a couple in-car views just to make it really, really clear, uh, you know, when someone has gone out of their way to blatantly wreck you. So do not file protests. If someone makes a mistake, that's called racing. It's, it happens. There's sim racing, there's net code, there's lag, there's all these kind of issues. Watch the replay yourself before you submit your protest and really make sure that someone purposely wrecked you right that's what this is all about like bad apples that we like don't want to have in the community everybody makes mistakes it's it's part of racing uh, an unfortunate part but a real part don't waste Enrique's time with garbage protests only send him stuff you know that you know is going to be good I've been on here for over a year and I've only protested one person so uh, but he went a lap down to take me out and he got banned for a month because it was that blatant so um, anyways once you've got your video recorded, upload it to uh, YouTube or to Discord. Uh, if you're in Tool for Forza and you want help uploading a video somewhere, let me know, uh, and I can upload uh, you know a video for you, you know uh, maybe onto our YouTube channel or something like that. Put the URL here, select the driver, select the lap the incident happened on, and then a brief description and hit submit. And then within a day or two, Enrique will get back to you with you know his ruling uh, on the. Um, you know, on the issue that you reported, you have to report within 48 hours uh, of the incident happening as well. So I recommend just like pretty soon after the race, go ahead and just make a quick video and, you know, send it to Enrique. And that way we can patrol the community ourselves. And again, if we weed out the bad apples and get rid of the wreckers, you know, they're just not going to come back. And I think that's why the racing is really clean uh, on, on sim racing systems. So highly, hi highly recommend, you know, being judicious with your protests, but please do it because the guy that you get banned that took you out on purpose, the next guy he would have taken out is not going to get taken out because that guy's gotten, you know, he's gotten a timeout. So that's really cool there as well. Um, okay, we've covered a lot of really good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead here. And, uh, and stop the video and uh, refresh my own memory just really quickly on how to get the, uh, the custom uh, skin application going here uh, because that's really cool. And then we'll uh, look at that and then close out the video. Okay, so to get the really cool skin app that automatically downloads people custom skins, you need to go into the forums here, right, the uh, SRS forums, and you'll see a set of course of apps. Go ahead and click this link right here. And then you'll see a set of course of skin transfer app via 1.1. Oh, my camera is blocking it here. Let me uh, scroll this up a little bit just so you guys can, can see the link. So I said, of course, a skin transfer app uh, 1.1. Open up this particular thread. And all right, it's right in front of my face here. So you'll see SRS skin. So it also kind of tells you how this whole thing works here too, right? If you don't want to see like white skins, it tells you how to make your own skins and name them and do all that kind of stuff here. It's super straightforward and it just works, so I'm not going to cover it. Uh, but the SRS skin transfer app, it's this little link right here under downloads. Again, so you just download and install that zip file, uh, you know, as per the uh, instructions right here, it's uh, it's it's very very easy. And then once you have that, you know, uh, installed into your root folder, as per the description here, uh, you're gonna go ahead and just go into uh, let's see here. Option. So it's in your apps here. So it's a, the description is a little bit a little bit funny. So what you want to do here is if you go into settings, Assetto Corsa, and then apps, you'll see SRS skin with a tick box next to it. You have to have that ticked. 
Once that gets good to go, what will happen is you'll join a race, you'll hear a little voice confirmation saying something like, you know, hey, there's skins available, you need to quit out of the race and then come back into it real quick. And if you want to get people's skins to download, you just exit out of the race and then hit join again and then they're all downloaded. Then you get a little voice confirmation that says, hey, no new skins, you're good to go, something like that. Uh, so again, it's really cool, it happens automatically. All you have to do, if, you, if it says you're missing skins, is just quit out of the race, you know, when you're in practice or qualifying and then just come right back in. And that just about covers it, guys. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Come join us in Discord if you're interested in some social sim racing on a set of Corsa or IL-2 Sturmovic and you like to do some World War II air combat stuff. And uh, thanks again for the support with likes, subscribes, and comments on the videos. This is Captain Nasties, over and out.